Are these better than the last release? At least the last release that I saw. Yes. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. This is the Nike Terminator Low OG in an original colorway. I'm not sure. I looked my ass off in every damn magazine that I got. I looked at this one, this one, this one's awesome. This one's awesome too. The one that I broke last time I showed you. Look at this. I just jacked these up live and on camera. I can't believe I just did that. That hurts my, my soul right here. Oh, my stomach hurts now. Oh my God. <gasps> Real quick though, what do those look like right there, man? They kind of look like the black flints, even though they're just the regular flints. <laughs> now these three, I did find something that was kind of interesting. So first things first, they actually had an article right here on the Terminator. And this was all about how popular they were overseas in Japan at the time, because they've been on this retro wave long before the US was and everything. So this magazine, I believe was from, from uh, 2003 and everything. So so luckily I have Google Translate now, so I was able to translate the entire article and it was a great read. And then th these really have nothing to do with uh, this shoe here, but you know, these are coming back out and I just thought that this was really cool. Look at all these original colorways, man. These are so sick. Now I was able to find another thing on the Terminator in this magazine, but again, it's really only showing the Georgetown one. However, the Michigan colorway was very popular with the Dunk. And in the last Terminator video that we did, we actually talked about the whole Be True to Your School pack, uh, which is what these color schemes were all about. So back in the day, 1985, 84, maybe 86-ish, Nike was starting to really add color to shoes. Obviously the Air Jordan 1 was one of them, the Nike Dunk was another, and then the Terminator was another one. So what we have here is, I think, a non-original color Way as far as this model goes, but a very popular colorway on the Nike Dunk from the same Be True to Your School pack, which I think is what this shoe is borrowing from. However, the Terminator Low was an original shoe, uh, obviously again, just not in this particular colorway, as far as I could see. And just as an FYI, those magazines have some of the best stuff in them. There's colorways of shoes that I've never seen before that seem to have only released overseas, either that or they're just samples that have never seen the light of day. I really wanna make videos on them. I'm just very uh, unsure that you guys are gonna watch so talk to me down below. Now, the thing that I like about this version of the shoe more than the high top is obviously they're low, so I dig that. The high tops for me just look like I was wearing like, I don't know, roller blades or something without the wheels. It just looked really weird on me. So a low top model is just something that I'm a little bit more fond of. The second thing is that the materials on these are just way nicer than the other pair that I checked out. The other one that we reviewed was the Georgetown colorway. However, in store, I have seen the black and white ones, which are really clean look. They just, the materials weren't that great. And same thing with the uh, white and the green. I haven't seen the white and reds yet, but they all look really good. I just prefer low top versions of this shoe. And again, the materials on this one just feel a lot nicer. I don't know if it's because they use nicer leather or if it's because the polyurethane coat is just a lot thinner. So when you touch the toe box and stuff like that, it's got a nice little wrinkle to it. Now, tech spec wise, there really isn't much of anything here. So what we've got on the outsole is just a really basic tread pattern. It's herringbone. I think that it looks great. It feels great. Is it going to perform great? Probably, but who's hooping in this stuff nowadays? Almost no one. And then moving on up, we got a rubber cup sole. Inside the cup sole is actually nothing. It's just a hollowed out cup sole. We'll show you an image right here of what these things tend to look like inside. And basically all of the empty space is so that the rubber can compress and deflect and everything like that. So you're not walking on a complete brick, but but they're not tech heavy or anything like that. They also state all of that stuff on the shoe itself, which we've gone over before. But basically when you look at the branding on the shoe, this one says Nike instead of Nike Air or Nike Zoom or whatever. And it's because there's no Nike Air in the shoe, therefore they're not advertising it. The insole is this thin little gray piece of crap. You could take it out though. Just make sure that you do it before you start wearing them because there is a lot of glue on that. So if you start wearing them before you remove the insole, the glue will heat up and it'll glue to the liner that's basically on the bottom, the straw and this one's kind of like a fabric-y material, so it's gonna be almost impossible to take out after the fact. So if you're gonna replace the insole, do it quickly. Otherwise, they might just be stuck in there forever. One thing that is also cool to note is that they do come with extra laces, so if you wanted to swap one out, you could. I think that they look good just as is, but this is obviously something for you to make them your own, so have fun with it. Maybe one of each, maybe switch them both to yellow. You can also switch them out to white. It'll match the midsole, so. There you go. Also, something that's fun to note is that even though these are called the Nike Terminator, they were not featured in the Terminator film from 1984. The shoe actually released afterwards, but Kyle Reese did wear a pair of Nikes and it was the Nike Vandal. 
Something else that I was talking about before in the previous video of these that we did of the Georgetown ones, the shape of the toe is still a little bit off on certain pairs of the low tops. This one, it's this left shoe looks a little bit cleaner than this one. This one still has that weird little like banana hump kind of look to it. So it's a little strange. I did check out multiple pairs of this shoe in store and some of them look really, really good. And I'm talking about the toe shape here. And then some of them don't. So if possible, check your pairs in stores. Feel free to mix and match them too if your store is cool. They will We'll let you do that so make sure that you get the best pair that you can for you and i think that that's the best option and as far as sizing is concerned they still fit a little bit big in my opinion so i would recommend going down half a size wide footers you should be good going true to size there's just a little bit of extra like toe length and everything like that or length in the toe and i like a little bit more of a snug fit so that's my recommendation but if you do own these feel free to let everybody know your thoughts on sizing down below in the comment section as well don't be jealous but i've been chatting online with babes all day Quick note, I just realized these are on sneakers right now. They actually have a pretty good description, believe it or not. I actually saw a couple of good descriptions of a few different sneakers on the sneakers app. So whoever is writing them right now, Good job. But anyways, basically it says untouched, unaltered, and straight from the vault, you get the picture. The Terminator Low lets you step back to the era of hook shots, knee pads, and calf high socks. Let's hope that never comes back, by the way. That's a little embarrassing, that and those really, really short shorts. You'd look good that way. No, I would look like- Captain America. No, I would look like, <laughs> I would look like Michael J. Fox as a Teen Wolf. <laughs> it would be, it would be all bad. But basically it says pulling inspiration from the Be True to your school ad campaign which is i guess what i was assuming so that's cool and one of the seven original colorways released in 85 now that's where i get confused does that mean that this is one of the original seven colorways or was one of the original seven colorways featured in the be true to your school pack amongst all the different models like i was saying the, the dunk the terminator and all that stuff I don't know. A little more clarification would have been nice, but I still really like the write-up, I'm just saying. Side note, nice shirt. Oh yeah, coming soon. Release information somewhere on the screen. Check it out. Somebody also was asking like who designed the shirt. So the concepts of the shirts come from my brain, but I don't do the actual artwork. We have various artists do them. We've had sneaker doodles do some of them. And then for this one specifically, it was BB Sketch. So we're having a bunch of great people like do like the great artwork that you see on the t-shirts and stuff. And I just really like it. It's so much fun to conceptualize and then see all the samples and be like, oh, can we do this or tweak that? It's a ton of fun, man. It's a great way to get your creativity out of your mind. But anyways, with all of that being said, these release I think on Tuesday. Yep, yep, yep. 120 is the retail price. Feel free to let me know if you think it's worth it. I think that if you're going to buy one of the Nike Terminators, this one so far is the one to get. It's just my opinion though, and it's really worthless. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know if you would like me to go through any of those magazines. I mean, come on, dude. Like, who wouldn't want to go through a magazine that says Nike Bible on it? But anyways, thank you so much for being here. We greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.